Welcome to Velf Creations. Today, we have a great tips and tricks video that will help you better understand the array feature in XCS. So let's get started. In our first project, we will use the grid array to make and space out this one keychain design into 16 so we can cut them out of black acrylic. Typically, we set all cutting and engraving parameters before employing the array feature. For black acrylic, our preferred settings include using the blue light laser at 100% power and a speed of 2 for cutting. For engraving, we switch to the infrared laser, maintaining a power of 90%, a speed of 200, and a line density of 200 lines per centimeter. Now that we've sorted out our settings, we can proceed by selecting the entire design and then clicking on Array, followed by Grid Array. However, note that the array window may cover up the design. Therefore, it's helpful to resize the work area and position it to one side before clicking Array. Perhaps in a future update, the array window could be made smaller or made movable. Next, we can increase the columns and rows to fill the entire work area. You can also adjust the spacing between items to better fit your material. Awesome, that looks great. We can now select all of them and center them in the work area. Let's send these over to the F1. This is our final part to our Exeus walkthrough. If you haven't seen our full overview video, go check it out. These turned out great. We will just need to add some key rings to them. Now let's see what we can create using the circular array. Wreaths are something that we frequently make using this tool, and we can do it all from Exeus. We will start by going into shape, then plant. We will pick this good-looking branch. Great. Now we want to mirror it, like so. Next, we click on Array, then Circular Array. It clumps everything together, but we can increase the spacing between items by increasing the X value. To get the stems aligned properly, we will adjust the Y value. From here, you can also add more or less copies, as well as tighten the wreath with steps. That looks great. We can select all the branches, then click Combine and Unite to make it a solid wreath. Now we can just add our home sweet home, and we have a beautiful design that we can engrave as a housewarming gift. Coasters are some of our favorite things to engrave, since they don't require any additional post-processing, and they make great gifts. Finally, let's move on to the Material Test Array. This will help you dial in your settings when trying out new materials. To begin, you want to have some sort of shape on your work area. Here we have our logo, but really it can be a square, circle, or even trees. For this video, we will be engraving wood, so we select Engrave and set it to the blue light laser. Now we can click Array, then the Material Test Array. In the window, you will see two sections, Power and Speed. Power goes along the bottom and Speed goes up the side. We will set the power to a minimum of 50 and a max of 100. That should be okay for wood. For speed, we have the max set to 500. The minimum is 100. You can also increase the amount of columns and rows you have to get more fine-tuned settings. Finally, you can also increase or decrease the spacing to better fit your material. Then, click OK. To get a bit more information about these individual icons, select the grid and ungroup it. Now, we can see that each logo has the updated power and speeds to match what we specified. The bottom left one is set to 50 for power and 100 for speed, while the one in the top right is set to a power of 100 and a speed of 500. Great, now let's see how this looks. While this is engraving, we wanted to thank you for all the support. We love making these videos, especially our quick shorts. If there are any materials that you would like us to cover, let us know. Also, like and subscribe to see more videos like this. As you can see, the top left of this array turned out very light, so we know that keeping the speed under 400 will probably be our best bet. We can also see that there is a lot of scorching on the highest power and lowest speed. Okay, that is all for the array feature. Did we miss anything? Do you have any questions? Comment below. Thanks for watching.